So and welcome to another Tech Tuesday, where we go through the latest game peripherals along with other technologies. Today I'm going to be looking at the differences between the Steel Series Rival 500 and 700. These are both new from Steel Series, released in 2016. So later this week I'm going to be doing a review on each of these mice, and I'll be uploading these. Also, I'll put the link in the description. These reviews will be specifically on that version of that mouse, either the 500 or the 700 and they'll go into a lot more detail around that mouse specifically and what its specifications are. So the common tech specs are, these are both optical mice, they've both got 16,000 DPI and 300 IPS sensors, though the 700 does have the ability to change out a sensor and I'll go into that a little bit more detail later on. Each one has a polling rate of 1000, interchangeable into four individual settings. And the sizes of these mice are the 500 comes in at a length of 4.68 inches or 119 millimeters, and the 700 comes in at a length of 4.92 inches or 125 millimeters. So the width of the 500 is 3.08 inches or 78 millimeters, and the width of the 700 is 2.7 inches or 69 millimeters. The height of the 500 comes in at 1.71 or 43 millimeters, and the height of the 700 comes in at 1.65 inches or 42 millimeters. The weight of the 500 is 129 grams and the weight of the 700 is 135 grams. Let's get into a quick sound test just so you can understand what the tactile feel of these mice is straight off the bat. So, I hope you enjoyed that sound test. There'll be the additional buttons at the end of the video. I didn't want to go through an entire video here just showing you the sound. So, if you want to hear those hanging on to the end of the video, and the other buttons will be in there compared as well. I think personally, the I think the 700 has got a slightly better feel on the buttons, especially left and right. I think it's got a slightly better click, but they are very, very close. They do sound different though, which was quite a surprise to me. I thought they'd have the same mechanisms, but obviously not. So the first main difference I've noticed with these gaming mice is the 500 has a slightly higher scroll wheel and this is to allow you to be able to push it left and right because it has that ability whereas the 700 doesn't, the 700 is just purely a push down click and a roll whereas the 500 is push down, roll and left and right. So this one means that the scroll wheel has to be slightly higher, it didn't really bother me but that was one of the main differences. The other one is the sizes here, the 500 is a little bit wider, it's a bit more of a fat boy I guess you could call it. And the 700 is more of a slimline mouse. It's more of a traditional shape, I think, the 700. The 500 is following that MMO kind of style, which is what it's based for, hence the amount of buttons it's got. I expected the 500 to be too big to play with, but actually positioning on this and the buttons are very, very good. I've still got a slight issue on both of these mice with reaching the thumb button at the end. It seems to be an issue towards the front of the mouse. I've had that problems with the G502. I've got it with both of these as well. These are slightly shorter than the G502 but it's just out of reach, especially on the 700, it's just out of reach. The 500, again, if I put my palm grip on, which is what I use, it's close. I can definitely push it better than the G502 Logitech, but it's a little bit long. I expected the width of the 500 to be a bit of a problem for me, but it wasn't. These mice, obviously the 700 is heavier, and I think it's to do with the OLED screen, and it's to do with the customizability of it. This has made it a little bit heavy. What that means in real terms, when you're gaming with it, is that I found the 500 to be well balanced. It feels almost quite light, to be fair. Although it's only six grams lighter than the 700, almost maybe too light again. The 700 itself feels too heavy and the weight in the 700 feels at the back. So I had a little bit of a play around with the 700 and it, to me it is in the back of the weight and that's a little bit of a problem. I don't particularly like the way the weight is in this. It would have been nice for them to have added a customizability of the weights in this, like the Logitech G502. They haven't done that. And this is one of the downsides I think for the 700 and probably what will cause it to have a problem in the market from my personal view. The other difference is the customizability is in the 700. 500 doesn't have it. Now software wise they both have the same abilities. The physical configuration is in the 700. The 500 is, comes as it is. As far as I'm aware you can't change any of the back plates, you can't change the cable and that's it. This is where the 700 shines but I'll tell you why I think they missed the ball on this. So the 700 you can use the OLED screen and put your name in it. Pretty cool. Bit of a pain to do. I'll put a link in the description of the video on how to do that. 
That's quite a nice little feature, but it adds a bit of weight to the mouse, which I think they could have avoided. The other customizability on it is the ability to change the USB cable, which I did like. You can change it for a braided 2 meter cable or for a rubber 1 meter cable. The cable also on the 500 is 2 meters, but it's rubber not braided. Going back to the 700, the other additional thing you can change here is the sensor. You can change this out for an 8200 dpi laser sensor. This is an additional cost though. And the other customizability of the 700 is the rear plate. You can take this off and then you can buy additional plates for your color scheme, which I thought was quite cool. What they didn't do on the 700 is they didn't allow you to change the weight. It is fixed this 135 grams and that to me is what's going to kill it in the market because it's, it's a little bit too heavy. I like heavy mice, don't get me wrong. This one's a little bit too heavy. Price wise, ironically at the moment the price wise of 500 is the dearer mouse. It's at 74.99 UK pounds or 74 US dollars. Is on Amazon. Amazon's got a good deal at the minute on the 700, which is 53.99 UK pounds or 53.99 dollars from what I've seen. The links in the description. So I hope you like this comparison. I thought I'd show you what the differences are because that's what I'd be interested in. Like I said, I'll be dropping out some individual reviews of each one, going into a bit more detail on them. But until then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all again. Bye bye.